Hey guys, how you doing? Hope you're having a good day, good night, whatever time it is for you when watching this video. If not, hope it gets better. Alrighty, so today we're moving on to Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, episode 27. Last episode, we saw Ed and Ling versus Envy in his giant fucking green dragon dog evil form. Gluttony was still leading Alphonse to take him to meet Father, but this time we saw May and Scar ended up catching up to him. So now they're behind them, so it's going to be interesting to see how that goes down. If they end up like completely catching up to them and they'll end up meeting him as well. We've got a bit of a Bradley backstory. We learned that he once used to be human. He wasn't born a homunculus. Instead, he got injected with the homunculus stuff and it, that's what turned him into it. So, And by the end of the episode, we saw Ed, Ling and Envy use the portal of truth to get out of where they're currently trapped inside of Gluttony. And in there, Ed ended up running into Alphonse's real body that's still been in there the entire time, which is fucking insane. That was such a big moment. I wasn't expecting that at all. It was cool. I have no idea what I'm expecting for this episode. It didn't really give me any hints or anything to know what's coming up, so we might like catch up with Ed and everyone else after they got out or... Who the fuck knows, honestly? I don't know. <laughs> I'm very excited for these next two episodes as well, because as I was told in the comments that apparently the opening, that the new opening has a couple of spoilery things in it for these next two episodes, so I'm very intrigued to know what's going to happen over these next two episodes. As usual, guys, if you're going to enjoy today's video, subscribe, hit that bell to know when I post a video, like the video to show me if you guys are enjoying all this reaction content and let's jump right into full metal alchemist brotherhood episode 27 let's go it, uh, uh, huh the narco. <laughs> it's unhealthy to drink alone panaco who's is that what he said panaco who's that okay that opening very catchy Times like these, people have to enjoy themselves when they can, especially yeah. in this country. True. <laughs> it's just one after another. We're always at war. The human race is made up of violent, miserable fools. Yeah, that's true in itself as well. Fucking yikes, dude. Wait, what? Skirmishes at the border right. to the my side. immediate guess is that this is like a flashback Northern episode because huge Hughes the bodies are piling up all over dance with me well aren't you the ladies man Hohenheim I don't dance I'll just sit here and watch you but that's no fun come dance with me look at this my Hohenheim get a little groove on why didn't you say anything to them because it would have been pointless to do so Nothing can change the reality of what they've done. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing this is just like a, like a big informational episode. Oh, please. Unless we're just getting like information at the start and then it'll get to like stuff later. Give him back! He's my brother! Take my leg! Take my arm! He's my little brother! He's all I have left! God damn. Feels like ages since I fucking watched that. Now, nah, holy shit. The main ingredient for a philosopher's stone is the life of a human being. I wonder what Hohenheim's... So like, I don't know, when is this? Is this like a part of an old episode? Or is this part of like a... See, I wonder when this is. Is this like part of the past? Or is this the it's present in itself? This are. bit. Simply pretend that it doesn't exist. What? They run away from it. How could anyone say humans aren't weak? They certainly do make a good natural resource. Right? It's all they're good for. What the fuck? Maybe Is it like the truth inside Hohenheim's head or something? I'm a little confused on this one. Prosthetic arm, huh? No matter. My sword can pierce steel as well as flesh. This was a good fight. I this is a fight I really enjoyed. This is back in the fifth laboratory, if I wasn't if I'm not mistaken. For you won. Hurry up and destroy us. No, I'm not a murderer. Yeah, spoiler alert, yeah, he gets ripped in half. I consider you personal, <laughs> physical bodies or not. 
didn't Feels have bad. <laughs> I didn't my own. I'll tell you who made the Philosopher's Stone and ordered us to guard this place. <laughs> Things that don't concern you. Lust. Never thought I'd be happy, like, happy-ish to see Lust again. <laughs> In a while. I really hate to do this. You were a prime candidate for sacrifice and all. But you forced me to kill you. Huh. You know what? I've been sitting here a What while. the hell? How could this even happen? And who could have orchestrated something as terrible as this? I'm fairly certain that what you're Gonna find out what Hughes was actually onto? ...to form a giant transmutation circle. You've always known about their plans, haven't you? So that is what they're doing, is it? Hohenheim? Okay. Even if I'd spoken up, warned them, it wouldn't have changed anything. All I've seen them do is endlessly repeat the same mistakes. Hmm. How old is Hohenheim? They choose to be helpless. They're so fragile. How can they not break? I'm an artificial. Holy shit. Throwback to grade, dude. Holy shit. I wonder when the next time we're gonna see that form of uh, gluttony is. God damn. It's gonna be interesting to see people take that down. Holy shit. And wrath. Just fucking everyone up. The danger was coming from us. Damn, so it's like a whole bunch of flashback of just like crazy fucking crazy moments and crazy fights and information and shit. It's pretty cool. Humans are defenseless. They don't Ooh, first time we actually get to see his eyes there. So what could they do? They can't defend themselves. Not against the likes of the homunculi. But that won't make us give up. Fucking hell, that was so cool, dude. Are you ready to tell me your secret? Greed was a really cool character. I really enjoyed I really think I thought Greed was really, really cool. To regret the form I have now would mean not only rejecting alchemy, but also turning my back on him. True. I believe in my brother. He's a state alchemist! Still yet, even to this day, on present day, still yet to learn more about him. I think. Anyway. Ooh, Ling and Lanfan versus Bradley. That was pretty cool. Seeing Ling hold his own against Bradley for a little bit was pretty fucking... Impressive. Well played, girl. Someday we will win. You're just wearing yourselves out. Well, the only way we're going to find out is if we try. True. It's better than just lying down and accepting it. Don't kid yourself into thinking you can help any of them. How are they? You know that they're going to wind up dead no matter so it's, what you do. Is this bit that confuses me? How are they two? You're left with nothing. That's what. You act like you have a conscience, but you're just being sentimental. What the hell? That right? What the actual fuck? Humans are nothing but a resource. Tell me what you think you could actually change. The nature of their species? They hmm. will always be weak and frightened creatures. Why does Hohenheim seem afraid? What's he afraid of? We will change. Himself? Because we are getting stronger with every step we take. Fuck yeah, dude. And in turn, they'll protect the ones they love. It seems like the least we tiny humans can do for each other. Such a cool fucking scene, that. Holy shit. You see, I'm sure we can change. We have to fight in order to live. And that's what will make us strong. Fuck and yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm guessing now we're back in like the... Dreaming. Okay. So technically it was inside Hohenheim's head. Alright. Thanks for all the help. Yeah, thank you, Bottle. Okay. For a whole bunch of this episode, I was fucking confused. I was confused like why it was a thing, but correct me if I'm wrong, but was like the main focus on this episode Hohenheim fighting against his own humanity seeing like a bunch of the flashbacks and seeing a bunch of the things that have happened in the past a whole bunch of like like going back to greed back to lust back to the fights at the fifth laboratory 
all those it was cool to see again. It was pretty cool to see again. But it was a cool it was a cool episode. I enjoyed it. I'm guessing everything will pick up back in like the proper full on story in the next one. But a Hohenheim centric episode? Cool. I was down. It was fucking cool. There isn't really a huge amount I really have to say of this episode. It was just it's cool. A couple of informational things. A bit of throwbacks to what everything else happened. And then just like next one. And then continue it on with the next episode, I'm guessing. But if I'm like missing the, the point of the episode by a mile, feel free to like let me know in the comments below. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for me today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Comment down below if you, what was your favorite part about today's episode. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.